But Kevin called just a couple minutes ago and said, hey, Dunbar's not feeling good. He didn't come up for cubes. Come on, Maya. Let's go. Try them, buddy. Come on. Let's go. Good girl. Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Simmers Bison. No, we are not at the Bison Ranch. We are in Seminole, Oklahoma. I also want to thank Upside for sponsoring the video today. And uh, you're probably wondering, what am I doing up here? Got a bull in this trailer. And uh, my buddy Colby from Arrowhead Bison is meeting me here. He's from Tuttle, Oklahoma. Good friend of mine, Bison colleague. We do a little work together here and there. Well, he is headed up to the Osage Nation, to the Butcher House Meat Shop in Hominy, Oklahoma. We uh, have used them several times in the past for processing some of our animals. Well, he's helping me out today. I'm meeting him with one of our bulls right here. Uh, he's got, I think, three females in his trailer. We're going to back up in this area of Seminole, Oklahoma, in this, in this big parking lot. And we're going to unload this bull in with him and he's gonna save me about an hour and a half drive up to Hominy. It's about a three hour drive for both of us to go from our hometowns to Hominy. It is a full drive. It's a full day adventure when uh, we're taking our animals because you drive up there three hours, you drop your animals off, uh, they're, you know, they're getting processed and whatnot. We keep the skulls and the hides most of the time, especially the hides in the winter time. You sit there and wait. Then we come home. And so you're looking at a seven, eight hour day. I see him. Here he is. He's coming. Seven or eight hour day. And it's a full day of hauling your animals. Well, I just really needed one this time. He's going to back up his trailer right here to the back of ours. And um, we're going to load this bull. I think he's about a 1300 pound bull he's, he's really big and we're excited for him so if you ever want to check out um you want to know where our bison come from they come from our ranch raised locally uh right there on the ranch taken care of all right colby's here see how this goes should be fun to go ahead and do my chain and stuff. This is my safety chain. Oh, that'll work. All right, so Colby's gonna back up. Got a sliding gate here. I'm gonna back up to mine real quick. It's pretty good. Keep coming. Yep. There's a little gap there, but shouldn't slow him down any. As long as we can shut the gate. Oh, it's all right. Oh, it's it's all oh, you got rubber old, and you got, rubber. you got the big. All right, here we go. So, there's a little gap, but it's all right. This one, I'll have to swing this. Yeah. So, all right, big boy. Ready? Yep. On, buddy you got some friends in here oh, 
Oh boy. Thank you. Good guy. Good guy. Although it's not fun to uh, see these numbers behind me rise in the gas prices today, but there is some positive light on getting some gas and maybe your favorite restaurant or grocery store. With the Upside app, you're getting cash back right now as we speak. Whether it's gas or groceries, you need both of them anyways. Why not claim your offer and get some cash back? Here in our hometown, I go to the same gas station every time to fill up. Once I fill up, I may or may not run in and get a couple snacks. And since I've used the Upside app, I'm getting cash back. On something I'm gonna always spend money on and gonna need. I've gotta have gas to run the ranch rig. Why not get some cash back from it? I don't know. Seems pretty simple to me. As you're sitting there pumping it, you can claim your offer right then and there and make it easy. Once your cash builds up in your Upside app, you can have it transferred straight to your bank. Farmers and ranchers, We'll take what we can get. We're not talking points. We're talking cash back, guys. Maybe feed for these guys back here. Maybe hay for these guys over here. Pretty simple. Guys, it's easy. Why not get cash back on things you're already going to spend money on? Go ahead, download the app, claim your offer, and get your cash back. Top upside earners are making as much as $300 a month. Click the link in the description to download Upside. Use my promo code BISON to get an extra 25 cents back on every gallon of your first tank of gas. Or scan the QR code located right here. All right, a little rearrange of plans here. We've had some hot wire issues basically between Marissa and I worked on it earlier. First time I hooked up the Energizer. Guys, I don't even know how to explain it. It's the first time for me to use the Energizer. Anyways, it's been a long day, uh, basically, since I hauled that bull off this morning at Colby. But hot wire's not gonna work right now. I'm gonna throw that to the side. But Kevin called just a couple minutes ago and said, hey, Dunbar's not feeling good. He didn't come up for cubes this evening. He acts like he's having trouble pooping. So um, he said he's a little sucked in too. So he said, get your dart gun. and." Asked me if I had any antibiotics, and so I got some Mortimer and antibiotics, and we're going to go over there and see what's going on here. So Dunbar is a little more important than all the rest of this right now. So here we go. Do you have fecal sample stool things?
currently with me. Pop and Max. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll let you go, Doc. Thank you. Okay. Have a good night. Bye. Good thing Mom and Kevin found the dart gun. Seriously, out in the pasture. When me and the girls were on a little vacation, I couldn't find the dart gun for like two weeks. Mom and Kevin called a couple of days ago and FaceTimed us because they found it. And it had rained, so you can see it tanned a little bit on the side that was up, but it's a good thing that they found it. So, um, anyway, so I just called Doc. What we're going to do is I've got... Uh, I've got two things with me. LA 300, it is an antibiotic. And because he's a breed bull, we're not gonna process him. If you guys are new to Bison Rancher, new to the channel, Dunbar is a breed bull of ours that we raised, had since 2018. Uh, we don't give our animals antibiotics unless they're sick, unless there's something going on. Um, or of course our meat animals, our processed animals don't get antibiotic, except all we give them is dewormer, which is what this is, which is Sidectin. So he's got a, uh, he looks a little wormy and he usually gets like this. He did last year too. Um, so. Freaking fire ants. Mm. Always find them. You all right? So we're gonna dark him with LA3. Boy, better get back in there. Nine milligrams. Chasing uh, grasshoppers. <laughs> Don't more. What other ones do you want to? You gonna give him both? There's a. Said they're three, three millimeters. I got three cc's. Sorry, not millimeters. Those are threes. Are yeah, you shooting? Ready to go. Okay, you're shooting Dunbar with a. This says. Ten cc. Three mils. Three milliliters, hundred every hundred pounds. So that's quite a bit. La. What are you doing, bullet? <laughs> Doc said that, um, I told him he looked a little wormy and he had his hair left over from, uh, from, uh, winter around his, what you would call it, his, his main shoulder area, neck area, that big winter coat that they carry. Um, I told him about it, and uh, he said the worms probably finally hit him at this point. I brought him down. Parasites out, if you want to be technical. This is a super thin needle, so it's... Okay, those are dumb bars. First, real quick. Hardly phased him. I went ahead and shot him in the neck. I normally don't shoot in the neck at all. Um, but if you notice on some of these animals, they still have a lot of hair around their necks, which is natural. Um, but he didn't have any hair. He shed a bunch, which is, I don't know. He just didn't have a bunch right there around the neck area. So that's why I shot him there. Like she has a bunch still. She still has a bunch of hair around her neck. And so I would have shot her on the hip where her butt is slick. But 
he's that little bull needs some love all right let's load dunbar's up and get closer to him he ain't gonna be happy he's been down this road before so all right is this one of dunbar's yep just hold it Load up, bullet. Bullet. Load up. Does he still have the darts? Is that him right He's there? Right what do you need me to do, hon? Yeah, they are. I'm just giving Dunbar some time. He's getting a lot of water in. He's at least over there. I don't know if he's drinking a lot, but he's been acting like he's drinking. Stare down bullet or what? Hmm? Hey girl. Shot a little low on him. I'll have to sit here and babysit him a little bit. Look at all of them. They're like, what's wrong with you, Dunbar? So what I need to do is get on his other hip. So some of you may wonder why we have to dart, you know, two times a year middle of the summer and towards the end of winter but it's only certain animals that struggle um, you know our foundation animals the ones that struggle are, are him it happens once a year we have to come darting um, so we typically vaccinate ours once in the spring and once in the fall and so he he had dewormer in him in the spring had him had it put in him but Peaches, Bell Star, them two, I mean, they never really ever show signs of parasites or get, you know, wormy, what we like to call parasites and worms, same thing. You hear me say both of them. So you never see them two do it. They came from the same herd, uh, but he always does it. He always gets wormy once a year. We have to dart him. He's also working too, though, right now. Breeding. Yeah, it's breeding season. So I mean, I don't busy. know. You know, you're, it can be stressful. And anytime you're you're in, you're compromising your immune system when you're overworking or doing that kind of yeah. stuff. I mean, I don't know. Just, I'm like just a, yeah. I mean, he's working, and if the if he has a parasite load, then it'll just pull him down and drain him. It's just like when you get tired. That's when you're capable of getting sick humans get sick you know, yeah. get the flu or whatever yeah. last year he recovered really well when we shot him last summer it was probably about this time last summer yeah we need to make a we need to put a reminder this in, is a in our phone that check him extra hard right now during yeah hey buddy i'm sorry july and august i hate to do that team but if you don't worm him, he'll die. 
it'll be a slow, slow death for him. He still looks pretty good. You know, a little bony in his hips, which he's, that's just the way always, he's always been yeah. built. He Some always. of them are kind of bony in those top hips. But I've never seen him this Sluggish. lethargic. Yeah. His head's down. You can tell he don't feel good. At least so. he got up and he went and got water, though. Yeah, he is drinking water and he, he pooped a semi-normal poop a while ago. So, I think. They ran far away. They got as far as away they could. Turned into the evening that uh, we didn't expect, but uh, I'm glad Kevin called. Uh, Notice Dunbar started acting funny. He's our baby boy, and um, I know it's breeding season, so it's kind of not a good time for him to start going down right now or not feeling well. So with bison, you got to react fast. Um, when they get to that point, they've, they've probably been sick more than likely a while, but they'll extend and not show the weakness uh, for as long as they can. I think that's just their natural ability uh, to stay away uh, from the wolves and the bears naturally. So uh, because we have fences as farmers and ranchers, we have to handle those things and dewormer is one of them. So uh, obviously we're gonna keep a close eye on him. We'll be back and check him out um, tomorrow, the next couple of days, we'll have to keep an eye on him. But um, the upside here <laughs> is that we came over here Kevin let us know. We came over here. Uh, we got two shots in him. Doc says put uh, Ivermec Plus in him as well. So we'll be back tomorrow giving him that as well. So we'll bring you along and see how he's doing. Uh, I didn't have Ivermec Plus with me. So that's why I didn't give it to him. But Doc said to give him those three. I want to thank Upside for sponsoring us today. Guys, if you don't already use it, you should check it out. There's a link right here in our description or scan the QR code right here, guys. Use the promo code BISON and you'll get 25 cents on every gallon on your first tank of gas. We'll be back to check on our baby boy at Dunbar tomorrow and give him some more uh, treatment. So thank you guys. Keep on bison ranching.